of the Turkish Grand National Assembly, distinguished uh, colleagues, honorable mayor of Antalya and honorable mayors who are coming from 10,000 kilometers away to the United States, honorable guests, ladies and gentlemen, It is always difficult to talk after a politician. So a while ago, you listened to a very accomplished politician. He was, uh, she was so effectively communicating to you. So um, I am humbled today uh, speaking after her. But she is a great friend of Turkey in this uh, land of big thinking. Ladies and gentlemen, United States, a great ally of Turkey, is the land of big thinking. United States represents the power of diversity. United States represents the power of tolerance. United States represents the power of values that we all cherish. Turkey and the United States, Turkey in its region as a regional power, together with the United States, has a lot to do. This relationship is indispensable. Turkey is indispensable for the United States and the United States is indispensable for Turkey. This relationship is important for stability, peace and calm in our region. And globally, if we want to achieve peace and stability, that's also important. So today, ladies and gentlemen, we are giving a heads up, a start up to a very important event. One of the most important and prominent and prestigious civic institutions of the Turkic world. You all know Turkic American Alliance has a lot to do to give the dynamism and to help us to take this relationship to further excellence is doing a remarkable job. They have started just three years ago when they established themselves as an advocacy group, as a group which is so energetically and so ably reaching out to every walk of life in this great country Honestly speaking, I was expecting them to come to such a level. So please allow me to express my heartfelt appreciation and congratulations to ATAA for their uh, wonderful job. We, um, as the diplomats from Turkey representing our great country here in Washington, D.C., are doing our best, of course, to perform in the best possible manner. However, we have many other ambassadors who are working, and we are being paid, by the way, we are paying, pay, uh, being paid for what we are doing. 
but there are a lot of people who are the workers, warriors and uh, members of this organization TAA who do not get any penny from what uh, they have done or what, what they are doing so far. So I think they I think they deserve another round of applause for it. Tomorrow we will start uh, another I mean, third of uh, the series uh, convention of TEA and we will have very, very inspiring and very, um, uh, I think, um, full of knowledge uh, and full of uh, dynamism, the discussions I'm talking about. By tomorrow, all of us will be getting together early, from early in the morning until evening. And I'm sure we'll get another uh, uh, a push for our efforts uh, in making this very important relationship uh, go to further uh, heights. And I want to just make my remarks uh, uh, shorter. And I wish success and uh, great achievements of TAA to continue. Thank you very much.